Morning peeps. Something a little different this morning. Okay, I was watching Lois. She has a channel called Life with Lois. I know you all are following her already, right? Well, she and Kimmy from Kimmy's um, Kimmy's Kitchen <laughs> um, are doing a collab, and everybody was invited to participate. It's uh, making a shadow box, and I decided I wanted to do that too. So I have joined in, and I'm going to show you clips of me making the shadow box, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Okay? So here we go. Okay, this is what I've got for my shadow box. It is actually a unicorn picture that I got from Cross Threads. I can't remember if I paid 99 cents or $1.99. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I am actually using this side instead of, we, we want to get rid of the whole unicorn thing. So this has to come off and this has to come off. So I've got my little screwdriver pile here. This is my little baby screwdriver from my box. And we're going to take this hanger off. We'll probably use it on the other side. So I'll keep it but I don't want it on this side because obviously I'm going to use this side for the shadow box. But I want to paint it, so we're going to, well. How hard is it to get a little screw out of there? Apparently it's hard for me. Okay, so that's done and I'm hoping this these will just peel out of here, mostly. I don't know about that one. That one's... And the rest of it will just paint over, right? These little scraper things work for all kinds of stuff, in case you wanted to know. We got one that came with our our new um, price gun at Cross Threads, and I can't tell you how great it is for getting this kind of stuff off. But I don't want it on here, so it's gonna come off. But you see what I'm doing, and then I'm gonna go take it and paint it. I probably will not take you with to paint it because knowing my luck, I'd get paint on my phone. So I'm gonna finish taking this off, and get it painted, and then we'll be back. Okay, couple coats of paint and it's ready to go. Okay, now we did have an issue here. Do you see this? It would not. I took put like five coats drying around there and it would not take it. So we're just gonna do something else with that. But first thing we're gonna do is I wanna put this as the back. Now it is pink flamingos has to be done. So we're going to glue this in first thing we can get the glue to come out that could be a problem I think it's drying up oh dear oh snap don't you just love it when you make a mess yes I do I am making a terrible mess let's see if we can get this smeared around I guess I should have gotten out the new bottle but I was trying to use this one up I'm going to um, glue this this on. I don't want to glue this stuff onto it until it's um, good and stuck because you know how it is. It might pull it off or make it um, bubble or something. So we're going to just do this first. And then we may try to put the washi tape on, depends because I decided that since this did not want to cooperate painting around the outside, this is like way too much glue. Since it didn't want to cooperate around the outside with the paint, I think we're probably going to just put some washi tape around it. 
probably should have saved that because I need it for the washi tape, but oh well. We'll figure it out, right? What a mess. Should have checked that out first. I think that yeah, we are ready to go, Houston. Okay, so I've pre-cut this because I didn't want to spend, you know, the time while you're waiting for me to cut it, so. Trying to do a little bit of beforehand work. What do you think? Sorry, I got the brush in my mouth. Can you tell? There. That part's done. Does it look like a shadow box yet? Okay, now what I decided for the edge, um, because I wanna put this in it, it's got some gold going on and I thought, golden pink, yep, that would work. Not sure how it's gonna work very good because, um, I don't know, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a challenge. Let's just put it that way. We need some glue out here, so we're gonna put a little puddle here. And we're gonna see if we can, I don't know if you can see it. In case you don't know, washi tape will, will stick for a little while, but if you don't put glue on it, at some point it will abscond from off of whatever you've put it on. So we're going to glue it down just to make sure. So we've got that. And um, this one probably would be okay, but I'm gonna cut it diagonally like I want it to be on here. Voila. What do you think? One side is, oh, snap. One side was on. Just because I don't want to make you sit there and listen to me and watch this the whole thing but you get the idea and I'll come back when this is dry and the rest of it's done okay okay it's dried enough it's a couple little bubbles in there but I don't think you're gonna see it when I get all my junk in it so the first thing I want to put in here is this most of this stuff I got from my peeps and I love this stuff, but it can't sit on my table. And so I am going to just hot glue it into my new shadow box. What do you think? Let's see. Let's see if we can get everything in there that I want in there. All the important things, right? I'm telling you, this was, um, I was having issues, I tell you what, <laughs> and I don't know why. I'm trying to decide, I want this one in here too, it's back, background. It's just a flamingo because I like flamingos. And it's pink. This one is not all that pink, but it's it's gorgeous anyways. So it's going in there. I 
Now, the next thing is I got this on an envelope, but I happen to like it, so it's going in here. Can you even see it? No, not really. Okay, I, I have a couple of plants. Now, I actually got these, and they were magnets, and they fell off, one of them fell off the refrigerator, and <laughs> the magnet broke off. So, I'm thinking I just want to set them in here just because I happen to think they're cute. And they look like little plants. Okay, I like them, so they're going in. That's what you do, right? In a shadow box, you put what you like. Oh man, this is the bad part about um, glue guns. It's all over me. It's just, just for proof of fun. What do you think? Okay, there was also a bow that I wanted. I don't know why, just because it sounded fun also. And there is this awesome bee. It kind of coordinates with the... Um, stringing around here kind of coordinates with the um my letter there whatever it is and then i just wanted to put some hearts over here on this other side so we're going to try that can you even see what's going on here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess up my camera and then I'm going to really be sorry. And I want some hearts. They have got some gold in them also and pink. snap that is not what I meant to do it's probably gonna stick and I'm never gonna get it out ah! no please don't do that okay it's on it's back behind there I can't get it out it's gonna stay back there I can't see it anyway can you tell I've never really done this before What do you think? This is treasures from Peeps. Okay, I have one one last thing I want to put on it, which is kind of silly, but it is what it is. to lay it down so it can stay glued. Maybe I'm going to have to re-glue this. There's glue strung everywhere. It's the bad thing about glue guns. Or maybe it's not going to... Maybe that'll just hold. What do you think? My very own shadow box. Woohoo! Okay, this is the shadow box. Now it looks a little different than in the video because I decided at the last minute to put another heart here and another flamingo. Now the best thing about this is if you look here, this opens up and I can hide stuff in here. There's a little box here, and I can hide money in there, if I had any. What do you think? 
Did it turn out okay? I did get this all set up so it's ready to hang up. I gotta figure out a place to put it, but I thought it was fun. That was really fun. I have never really made a shadow box and I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, thank you, Lois, for setting me onto this. I am new to Kimmy's kitchen. I haven't really watched her enough. Lois, I love her garden stuff, so can't, I can't, I can't not watch her. And Kimmy, I'm going to go figure her out. But both of the links to their channels will be in the description. So go check them out. Check out their shadow boxes. There's supposed to be a bunch of them. There's a hashtag that you can follow in the description. So go do it. You know you want to. That's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.